Would you like to integrate your forms with a payment processor? Let me show you how. Hey, Jetformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And as you can see, I'm currently in the features landing page for all of our payment gateways. Now in this video, we're only going to touch on a few different things. So make sure you check out this specific landing page. Let me take a quick scroll. There is a lot of information here, and we're just going to kind of skim through some of these. So be sure to come here and check out all the information on how to integrate your forms with your payment processor. So let's go ahead and head over to a form. I have already created a new form. It's very basic. I started from scratch with the classic form. And as of right now, I just have a name and email. Now, if you want to integrate with a payment processor over on the left hand side under form elements, we have basic and then we have payments. And this is where you're going to find those 30 plus payment integrations. Now you can see, we can take a quick scroll and there's a ton of different ones to choose from, but if you know exactly what you're looking for, you can always utilize the search option at the top. Now for this example, I'm just going to go ahead and use PayPal personal, and we can see that it went ahead and opened up the integrations portal on the side. So I'm going to go ahead and log into a test PayPal account. We'll do test at test.com. Super simple. We're going to go ahead and use this as USD. Now, as far as the payment type goes, you can do a lot of different things with this. So if we do the drop down, we can see that we can either sell products, either physical or digital. We can sell subscriptions. So maybe like a monthly basis or every other month or whatever that looks like for you, you can sell subscriptions with job form. Next, we have a user defined amount. So if you want your users to tell you how much they want to pay, you can do that. And the last one is going to be to collect donations. And I can see because I've already used this form in the past, it already has a test product set up. But once you get to this section, it's going to be completely blank. So all you need to do is create a new product. We can add in the name, the price, the description, we can upload images. So that way they know exactly what they're getting. We can auto scale the images. If you are requiring someone to make a purchase with the form, make sure you choose required right here. And we're going to go ahead and save. Now up at the top, I'm currently in the test product. You can see that we have different options across the top. We have the basic and then we have options. So if we click on options, we can add a quantity selector, which this one already has. So once you add the quantity selector, this will pop up down here. So let's go ahead and edit and see what this looks like. How do you want this to show? Do you want it to be a drop down or a text box where the user is going to enter in the exact amount that they want? For this example, we have it as a drop down. We can change that label so we can see right here it says quantity and then we get to change that range. So if right now it's showing one to 10, if you just have this one product and that is what you're selling, you want to make sure that it starts at one. Now, depending on your product, you might want to change this to start at zero. Maybe you're selling multiple things and they get to choose. We want to make sure that everything starts at zero so that way they can choose which one they would like to add. And then we can also have special pricing per quantity. So if you want to say, maybe they purchase five of something, we can change the price down, you know, give them a little discount for purchasing more and we get to change that all the way down. So we'll go ahead and save that quantity. And then next we have a product option. So if we choose that, maybe we're selling t-shirts. Let's go ahead and put t-shirt here and we can create sub products from the options. We can create special pricings per the option. And then here we get some presets. So we have color, t-shirt size, print size, resolution, and shoe size if we were selling shoes. Let's go ahead and do color. It's gonna go ahead and populate these colors in for us. If we need to edit any of the colors, we can do that as well, or even delete them if we'd prefer not to have that color. But let's go ahead and head back. So we can see here we have 11 quantity options from zero to 10, and then we have those five color options as well. Now, the last tab is going to be stock. If this is something that you have already made and you have limited stock available, we can choose this to enable stock control. And we can say, you know what, we have five red, we have a 10 blue, we have three green, four yellow, and then we have 10 magenta. And then we can turn on low stock alert. So that way we will know when a product is getting low. Perfect. And so let's say if we get below two, we will know and save. Now let's go ahead and head back and I'm going to click on the gear in the top. 
Now, if we come down to the bottom, the additional payment gateways, there's also some things that we can do within here as well. We can allow those users to select multiple products. We can show the total price on the form. If we want, we can turn on sandbox mode so that way we can test this form to make sure it's working before we publish it and put it out into the world. If you want, you can have authorization only. So it's not going to charge them until you choose to charge them. We can turn that on here. If it's not something like a digital product and you're needing to physically ship something, we can request require a shipment address. And then as we scroll down, we have a lot of different options here as well. But definitely check out that landing page, that features landing page for all of our payment gateways for even more information on how to integrate with those 30 plus payment gateways. If you have any questions about this, definitely let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.